Welcome to Campaign Chronicles. Here's what's going on beneath the buzz. Everybody is descending on New Hampshire, the first primary and the most important one because it's what most looks like a general election. The Iowa caucus disproportionately dominated by social conservatives. In New Hampshire, though, independent voters get to vote. And in independents make up 42% of the local electorate. So just like the general election, where the independents go is the best gauge of who's got the best shot to be the next president of the United States. John McCain endorsing Mitt Romney yesterday. Backstory on that, not a lot of love between the two. Everybody who ran against Mitt Romney last time walked away kind of not liking the guy, sort of like Newt right now. So this is a pretty con significant concession. It's a sign of the establishment and the center-right rallying around Romney, if only because of the look at the alternatives, scares the hell out of anyone reasonably responsible in the Republican Party. The other dynamic that's going to be worth watching right now, Rick Santorum raising a million dollars in one day as he rides into New Hampshire, despite being a social conservative in the least religious state in the nation. Rick Santorum actually has spent more than 30 days campaigning on the ground in New Hampshire. Those independent voters that have been clustering towards Mitt Romney are not a sure thing. As Rick Santorum rises, you could see John Huntsman put all his marbles in this particular basket and Ron Paul start to eat away at the independent voters who've been giving uh, Mitt Romney his second shot right now. In the next week, my guess is you're going to see Mitt Romney's numbers decline. Paul, Huntsman, and Santorum inch up, making this more of a horse race. Race likely outcome still Mitt Romney wins and then it's on to South Carolina. But this is the real deal. This is where independent voters get to have their, their uh, voices heard and that's what makes it relevant and look a lot like the general election. I'm an independent so I love New Hampshire. That's all for us at Campaign Chronicles. We'll see you tomorrow.